keep starting? Technology is playing up. So the video <laughs> starts on its own. I think it's a sign that we have to start. Yeah. Hello Aries and welcome to your December 2022 general reading with myself, Tommy Zanak, and my guest, Kyra Shaw. Mm -hmm. Now I will have Kyra's details in the description box. I know she's beautiful, but she's married <laughs> and she has a child, so don't get any fighting ideas. Right. So, but, but her um, contact details will be in the description box when you, if you want to book a reading. Okay, so what we do here, as usual, we divide the video into three sections, which are the overall energy for the months ahead. And then we look into your emotional core, see if there's love coming in, maybe there's trauma that can go, that kind of stuff. Before we then lastly look into opportunities as they present themselves to you in the month of December 2022 for the sign of Aries. Now, remember, it is the end of the year and 2023, just numerically speaking, is going to be a much higher year, energetically speaking, than 2022 ever was. Uh, because 2022, 2 and 2 and 3 is 7. 7 is the highest number of protection. So when it, if you want to achieve something, if that makes sense, 2023 has a much higher energy than this bloody year had. If that makes sense, right? But it wasn't, it wasn't all bad. Right? It's what it is. But just be aware that we're moving by default into a higher energy year, which is not uh, unimportant, if that makes sense. Right? So let's look at the overall energy. Oh, by the way, please like, subscribe, and share. It helps us grow the channel. If you like my work, you can buy, now buy me a coffee on buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium thomas. That's buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium thomas. I do like my coffee. Thank you. So, with no further ado, Aries, let's have a look at the overall energy for the months of December 2022. This guy actually is Monty. He wants to be here, but he's not really playing ball. Here we go. <clears throat> Okie dokie. So these two just jumped out straight up, so we'll go for those. So first one up was Joy. Um, I'm getting, he's obviously, it's just a season of goodwill, isn't it? So I think it's just basically saying go out enjoy yourself you know you've worked really hard all year and now this is the time to kind of like kick back spend time with family and friends and just just bring a bit more joy into your life you've been overworked maybe you've working like retail or anything like that i'm getting retail okay yeah, um so, sorry i'm just putting monty away <laughs> <laughs> no offense no <laughs> <laughs> um but yeah, maybe you've kind of like been a little bit shut out with work lately and it's kind of like getting a little bit too much for you. So I very much got, especially people that work in customer service, retail sectors, this is your time to kind of like just kick back and enjoy and try not to take the people last minute Christmas shopping too seriously. Okay. And <laughs> <laughs> um, we've also got a change in direction. So this would be a lovely card for the start in the new year. So obviously if you're planning anything for 2023 or you had something in the back of your mind that you wanted to kind of like start in the new year or there was something that you wanted to do this will definitely be the time to put that into practice now if you were looking for a change in career or taking up a new hobby this is like your time to put the wheels in motion mm -hmm. and also ask so we pull the ask card so this comes through usually when some people need guidance and it's just basically a reminder for you for that your guides are here and they are willing to help you. You just need to ask for anything. Um, just for a bit of guidance, to help with any sort of situation, for a bit of clarity. They're just saying they're here, they're waiting. They just need you to ask in order to help. Thank you very much. And remember, Aries, you are the very first star sign, which means there's no other sign before you. What that means as an imprint is that Aries, by default, as a sign, you will probably find it difficult to ask for guidance or for help because you are the sign of the doer. And it's sometimes not a bad idea to break with tradition and ask. Okay, so moving on now to your emotional core. This is the area where we look as, um, at if there's trauma that can go, if there's love coming in, that sort of stuff. So this is more your emotional uh, area. And it's quite interesting because you have adventures and forgiveness. Big words. What the guides are saying to you, when it comes to how you want to feel, be adventurous. What I'm getting here strongly for, for Aries is to not, sounds a bit weird, it's just what I'm getting, is to not follow patterns that you always followed. So if you are a person that is given second and third and fourth chances, uh, maybe things are trying to rekindle, um, even 
if you just try to bring a current relationship to another level. It has to be adventurous. What that means is there has to be leeway on all sides. You cannot force things, if that makes sense. <clears throat> and forgiveness, when it comes to your emotion, means that this is actually for those of you who are in relationships. Those of you who are looking for relationships, I don't get that so much, if that makes sense, right? Take it as it resonates. The point is you have forgiveness following the adventure, which means it is about having a good time. Being adventurous means like, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm giving things a go I probably haven't done before. So you are a bit freer, maybe even a bit wilder, if that makes sense, in good old December. So that's not a bad thing. But forgiveness means that you are holding grudges. And so if you feel I'm moving on and therefore my adventure is all very loud, that might, might not be what really works for you. So allow yourself to feel whatever it is you feel and release it. And also, because you have forgiveness as a word, let it go. And, you know, when you don't forgive people, if you want for a better word, um, you sometimes just hold on to pain that they caused. And while I personally don't necessarily want you to forgive just because the card says so, right, is the difference um, in forgiving, forgetting and carrying it with you. It makes little sense to carry it with you, right? Because if it's not released, then the next relationship will have to trigger whatever it is that you haven't released. So it is quite a serious thing here, if that makes sense. But the overall uh, energy for the section of your emotions is the adventure. It overrides forgiveness, if that makes sense, uh, as an energy. And so the first, first and foremost, for anything to do with your emotions, have a bit of fun with it. Don't be too bogged down by, by things, okay? So that's just your emotional core. And now lastly, for the sign of Aries, for the month of December 2022, we're now looking at your opportunities as they present themselves to you in the last month of the year. And for the most part, that's usually what happens, but we only work here. <laughs> so um, this is about what, what sustains you financially or what you have to do to affect or maybe invite in opportunities. Did I lose it for the card? Yeah. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> That's how it works. Yeah, sorry, my bad, my bad. <laughs> no harm done. Oh, I can see that. Oh, yeah, good. Hey. Hey. Wow, that is We love it when it happens like that. Yeah. So a shower of abundance that completely just follows up yeah. everything that we just just chose a little closer. Yeah. Oh, sorry, got it. Here we go. Shower of abundance. Now, when it comes to opportunities, that's really what you want. You know? Yeah, so it's quite literally just saying go for it. The guys are on your side, the universe is on your side, so whatever you've got planning, or planned, sorry, go for it. It completely just backs up everything that Thomas says. It's a wonderful card to pull, so for that to come under like your financial situations and stuff like that is excellent. Come get a better card. Yeah. So Aries, that's all we got for this month. Please join us again next time. And like I said, the um, contact details, uh, Kairos contact details are in the description box. Um, please have a look and I see you all next month. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you. <laughs>